Emmanuel, God with us. Has the Lord done, Roma? Pastor, this is Blossom. She has been coming here for the last seven months. In 2011, she had taken a scan of her uh, her kidneys, and there was a 15 point uh, milliliter stone in her in her kidney, and it was not functioning well at all. But she says one of the ministry team members had prayed for her, and just. While watching God TV as well, she said she felt a severe pain and something left her body. So she also went back to the hospital to get another report. And now she says that her every part of her body is totally healed. And she said, I'd like to see it. What is this? Okay. You didn't take a new one? This is the new one. Everything is has gone all gone everything, everything is fine now gone. everything is fine Amen. hallelujah Amen. thank the lord thank the lord father thank you for her life thank you for her faith thank you for the zeal she carries in jesus name in jesus name. pastor jerome this is a uh, krishanti here for about a month, she was profusely bleeding from her womb and she couldn't even stand, she didn't have strength. But two weeks back, she came to our meeting for the CNC meeting and you prayed and the bleeding has completely stopped. Hallelujah. She's completely Give the Lord proper praise, proper praise, proper praise in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Holy Spirit, come and repossess your property in Jesus. Waiting. What Pastor, is that? This is Sister Malika Fernando. Last October, the doctors diagnosed her of a disease called cellulitis and she was struggling to walk. The month of March 2015, she came for a CNC meeting. Pastor Jerome prayed for her. Now she is completely healed in Jesus' name. Thank you, Father. What has happened? Pastor, the amazing miracle of Lakshi. Uh, in February this year, doctors gave her three days to live because of leukemia. And she was sent home to die. But she came to our meetings and she has been progressively doing well. And she wants to tell last week when they took the platelet count, uh, it was 38,000. And this today, this week, when they took the platelet count, it has gone up to 54,000. So she wants to give glory to God. And also, the miracle, she says she believes in Christ and her whole household from a non-believing status has come to believing. So she wants to give glory to God. Hallelujah. Proper praise. Proper praise for the Lord. Proper praise. Proper praise for the Lord. Now, I have believed in Christ. Father, we ask now, where is that piece of paper? Who are you, sister? You're the cousin sister. She says that when she came here, she had no hope. Now she says she's fully confident about her future. She believes God and there is hope for her future. 
praise God because she was given only three days to live and uh, how many of you know Jesus died and in three days a lot of things happened <laughs> you know in three days a lot of things happened amen so let's let's pray right now come on father in the name of Jesus father in the name of Jesus father in the name of Jesus we add another digit to this we make it 154,000 we make it 154,000 in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus for your glory Amen. Let your glory fall in this world. Pastor Jerome, this is little Devin here. He had a medical condition where he couldn't pass urine. So he has undergone two surgeries and the success rate of surgery is it's very low and the doctor said there are people who had gone through 10 operations and still it was not successful but when they came in January you laid hands and said go for the next operation it will be successful in April they did the operation and the doctor has said it's it's successful and it says it's a rare occasion that it comes to and they want to give are you happy I remember I, I remember you're the father can I talk to you in English? Yes. What is your name? Asanka. Asanka. Yeah. Asanka, I remember you. You were crying at this altar. You were carrying this little yes. boy. And uh, I remember. And I asked you, what's the problem? And you told me. I just put my hand on the chest back of his body. And I would have told you something. So don't worry. Now you have seen the hand of the Lord. You were given direction, guidance. What has not happened to others has happened to your son now. Yes. For someone else, it would have been a failure. What is? What do you call this? You don't just call this a miracle. You call this the goodness of God. It's the mercy of God. Follow Jesus. Get to know Him. Love Him. Serve Him. And honor Him. There is more to come in your life. There is more to come in your life. There is more to come. What's happened? Pastor, this is Tanya. She has been coming for CNC for the last one year. Four weeks ago, her father developed a sort of a, like a, a oil gland and needed uh, an operation, needed a surgery. He, has a, he was a man who never felt, fell ill. Two weeks after the operation, they rea of course, when they did the operation, they realized that his sugar level had shot up to 340, 48. Two weeks after that, she came to uh, Kushal, Elder Kushal, and she, because she had a picture of his phone, the phone, the phone, uh, and also was given a bottle of water. Two weeks later, following that prayer, uh, the last week, which, which was last week, the level has come down to almost 110, and he's recovering very fast. So what she's here to testify is, within one month, he's almost back to normal. Thank you, Father. Thank you for touching the Father. In Jesus' name. Be blessed. Be blessed. Yes, Lord. Pastor, this is Shalini. She comes to our Dehiv Dehivala service. Two years ago, you had given a word that she, uh, people with asthma would be cured. She says almost two years, she has not touched her puff. So she's here to give Thank God you, glory. Father. Lift your hands and thank the Lord, Shalini.